Hi and welcome to another episode of Type with Me. In this episode we will see RxJS operators map, map to, switch map and scan. Right, let's go. So first of all you need to have RxJS installed into your project, right? And then we can go to index.ts and there we can start writing RxJS code. So imagine that we have the following stream. So we can very easily create a stream with the from uh, from uh, RxJS. So we can very easily import that. So that's our basic stream, right? So now we can say source. So now we can uh, create a const uh, name equals source dot pipe map and then we can do our value value dot name right So we can also import our map. So let's do that. And then of course I'm going to do name dollar dot subscribe to subscribe. And we can say that we want to do a console log when we have our value, right? All right, when we now build our project, and we execute our project, you'll see that we have Jazz, Electro, and Rock. If you just want to have the IDs, we can do ID, and then you will see that we will get one, two, and three, right? All right, now let's talk about map two. So with map two, we can do following thing. Execute. Then we can say name dot pipe. So whenever we want to use an operator, we need to do our, uh, our observable. And then we need to say dot pipe, right? That was something that I forgot to explain, but that's quite important. Then we can say map to and then true. So whenever something goes through the stream, we can say that we just want to have the value true. All right. Now we can say here map to and then we can do the same. But then for for execute. So now let's build this. Now we can say no dot. Then we have jazz electro rock true true true. Right, great. So now we can uh, take a look at switch map. So switch map will uh, do the following Con const switch map. So imagine that we have our names that we then need to do an API call. Then we can say here switch map. Then we do our API call. Can 
put it here. We can put off here. So off is also an observable, an observable one of one value, right? So when you have an observable and you have another observable and you want to go to one value instead of emitting uh, an observable, right? You need to use a switch map. So when we do that, we will get the following result. When we now execute it, we get Jazz API, Electro API, Rock API, right? Imagine when we would use this, you will see that we will have following results. He will then have an observable of the value Chess API, Electro API, and Rock API. So when you want to squeeze it into just the value, right? you need to use switch map. Another great operator is the scan operator. So we can do const scan. I want to use the IDs for that. So do dot pipe scan. Then we can just put out here our values that we want to use. Let me explain to you what it really does. So here we have our uh, current value, right? And then we have our accumulator. So it's our accumulator. So every, so every time that a new value comes by, you will calculate something and then it will put it into the accumulator. And then here we have our starting value, right? So when we do scan, we build our project. Now we can execute it. And we see one, three, and six, right? One plus two is three, right? Three plus three is six. Thanks for watching. We learned how to use map, map to, switch map, and scan. Don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.